Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm here to talk to you guys about your third programming assignment being train of cars. So in this programming assignment, you are basically a manager of a train depot, depot or <laughs> however you say that name, honestly. Um, so what you're basically going to be doing is you're going to manage this uh, this train station, basically. Um, and you're going to do this via linked list. So what you have to do is you have to imagine the train. You have to imagine it in a linked list being like the front of the train being the head of the linked list and then building on by every cart. Basically on a regular train, how there's carts, they're all chained together, uh, linked together, that is. And the same thing basically for the linked list. Um, so the linked list, every... Um, let's say a uh, node, every value of the linked list is going to contain a stop number, a factory name and a material that is being carried by that specific node in the linked list, AKA the cart of the train. Okay. So what this program will basically do is it's going to display all the train car details. Um, uh, you, you'll have the ability, um, well, the user will have the ability to attach a train car, detach, search and merge and this is what the output would basically look like so before i move on talking about like all the classes and stuff i wanted to first show you what um the output actually looks like all right so here we um have a fully written train menu and all the train all the classes fully done so let's run this okay so first things what we're going to do is we're going to display the train cart um so we're going to do d and it displays all of the um the carts in a sorted order being the first stop the second third um basically starting from the minimum stop all the way to um the last stop in the train uh this will not come sorted however so see in the, let's go to this cart. Um, these do not come sorted. You're going to have to actually do that by yourself um, via the train class. Okay. So first we're going to display, then let's merge. So here we're merging uh, two different carts. And then we're going to display again to show the new train after it's been merged. See, it contains the uh, a new stop for one, which is here, and it is all sorted again. You have to make sure um, that all these values are sorted. See, so a Pepsi stop twenty, and it goes all the way to the bottom. All right, now let's quickly add something to this. Let's attach. Um, Let's do Nuka Cola because I'm a Fallout fan. All right. Stop number. Let's do it. Stop. Uh, let's just do something in the middle, like nine. And then material name Nuka Cola. All right. Now it says here adding new car Nuka Cola at stop nine. Okay. Now let's display it. Let's see if it actually added it. So here we could see that Nuka Cola has been added to the link list. It has been put nicely into it and sorted. All right, now going back to this document. Alrighty, so now let's talk about the classes. So we are given a car a car class and a train class. Alrighty, so with the car class, uh, we'll, we're giving four field values being the factory, stop, material, and then the next car. And then we're going to have three uh, constructors, one being the default constructor. Um, that means there's not going to be any nodes. Then we're going to have this constructor, uh, which is a regular constructor that will set the next to null. This is basically if you only have one val one value being just uh, the root or the, the head of the train. And then we have a regular constructor. Um, basically, what this does, it just sets um, everything after dot next. Uh, Pretty much just builds the rest of the train. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Um, so here we are. I decided to 
add in my java docs because i noticed a bunch of people don't really know how to do these or just don't incorporate them i have no clue why <laughs> so this is what uh, java docs looks like and is expected to be um, done with your code when you turn it in Alrighty. So here's our class. Um, we have our field values. We have our, our default constructor, our regular constructor that just sets the just the head of the of the tr the car or the train. I'm sorry. And then we have the second regular constructor that sets all the other values after it. Okay. So now let's look at train. All right. With the train class, um, it basically has a constructor, a detach method, an attach method, a search method, get cars, display cars, and a merge method. All right. <laughs> so for the constructor, all you're going to need to do is just read from a file and just uh, pretty much make your linked list from that file. The detach method, you just detach um, a... Sorry, you detach a train cart given a factory name. So um, if a factory name was given like JBS or Mars, um, these being the values. So given JBS or given Mars, it will detach that uh, cart from the train. Then we have attach, which does basically the opposite. Uh, we have the search method. Uh, where you type in or you pass in a factory name and it'll search the link list for you then we have a get cars um basically again you give it the factory name it will send back the cars in the form of a list uh then just the regular display train cars basically iterates through the list and then displays all the carts and then we have a merge method that merges two train carts together all right, <laughs> let's take a look at the train method. Okay, so I have some of the train method written for y'all. Okay, um, so we have just the class, the regular constructor, or sorry, <laughs> the field value, and this is the, uh, the default constructor. And then we have the regular constructor, in which I'm gonna help you guys write. All right, so let's start off by writing this this regular constructor so first what we have to do is we have to use this file reader uh, we have to initialize it so what we're going to do is just do file reader equals new scanner and new file and then we're going to do car file okay uh, car file is just our parameter uh, this try catch will check if this file can be read and then now we can use our scanner so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to define an array I'm going to call it info and then I'm going to define a string called line then I'll do a while loop using the file reader we're going to do dot has next line and then we're gonna do line equals file, if I could spell, file reader dot next line. All right, and then we're gonna do info, which is our string array, equals line dot split. And we're gonna split it at the comma. And this is because all of the values are split by a comma okay um and now we have to attach these so what we what we could do is we're gonna we have an attach method well we should have a attach method right here okay um you could write this before writing that attach method it doesn't really matter but what we're gonna do is write attach info zero or at the index zero sorry uh integer dot value of i'm going to do at the info index of one 
And then we're going to do the index of info2. All right. And basically what this will do is we'll attach a cart to our train. All right. And then for good practice for programming, we're going to do file reader reader.close. All right. That's basically the constructor. <laughs> this will make your train uh, so attach all of the carts. However, you're going to need to write your own attach method. So this is basically what I have for you. I have a lot of comments here. So this should help you build your code. Basically, I wrote I wrote most of it. Um, just you're going to need to do the more logic part of it. So I've given you an if statement that checks um, if the front is null. If it is, then it makes a new front uh, equal to the car. Um, this is what this will do. It will basically use the car's uh, regular constructor just for the head. Okay. And then you're going to need to write the else statement. So you're going to make uh, a current a car called current equal to start front. And then you're going to need to use a while loop that iterates through each item in the train list. And then in that while loop, you're going to make uh, sure that current is changed to the next car in the list, basically making current go all the way to the end. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set current that next which should be, there shouldn't be a node there, but now you're making it um, equal a new cart. So you're putting a cart there and then you sort it. Well, this is where I put my sorts at least. Um, the, sort, uh, the sort method is not um, given to you. However, the professor does want your cars to be sorted, your train cars to be sorted. Um, so what I have done is I have wrote, I have written my own, uh, sort method. It is right here. Basically what it does is just, um, iterates through the whole, um, uh, linkless train <laughs> and it sorts the list. I'm not going to go into much detail with this. I am giving you this code. Um, Try to study it to make sure because this will come in handy for you, especially in your next classes. All right. Display uh, train cars practically really simple. You just iterate through the through the list with a while loop and then you just system that out that print it. OK, um, get cars. You just make a list. Uh, you iterate uh, through the <laughs> through the link list. You check if it equals. If it does, you add it to this list. And eventually you'll return it. Okay. For the search, basically again with a while loop, um, you iterate through the list until you get a train car with the same factory name as what you're searching for. And then you add it, um, and then you, re uh, and then you show. Uh, <laughs> you basically, if there's multiple cars, you're gonna have to implement it in such a way that'll show all of those cars carts with that factory name okay um so basically that is it um also the detach method um it's almost as similar as the attach you just find the factory name uh that is given and just detach it basically switch it um it's uh, switch the previous of current. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's kind of it's kind of confusing, but what you do is you basically switch uh, the previous is next to current dot next, so you ignore it at that. Uh, so you basically take that car out of the link list. Okay, so that's basically it for the train class. This video might be pretty long unfortunately and then we also have a train helper so all i'm going to show you is basically the train menu so i have three global variables being the menu a scanner and the train okay so i have a i set my menus value i made a new train 
uh, which is equal to a file, or I mean, has the parameters being a file, initialize my scanner, and then I set a while loop that is always true. And what it will do is every time it runs, it'll show the menu, it'll have you enter the choice, and it'll set the choice to uppercase. And then this switch statement, uh, what it does is it checks what you pick as a choice. And then uh, let's just say you pick uh, D, which is display cars. The case will take you um, to train that display cars and it'll just display all the cars for you. And then the while loop will run again. Basically for S, then you have a search method. Um, you write these methods and then basically make it modular and have all the methods do most of the work for you. All right. And if the user inputs something bad or something that doesn't, uh, you know, fit the criteria, uh, you just throw a input mismatch, mismatch exception. And yeah, that is basically your third programming assignment. Um, make sure you incorporate Java docs. Um, I didn't do it for this class because I just wrote it really fast. Make sure you do it in a way such as this. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you, y'all.